Tank is a company designed to bring fun to every gifting occasion. Hi Sharks, I'm Ryan. And I'm Eric. And we're... Red Red Eric. Eric! We're from Minneapolis, St. Paul, Minnesota, and today we're seeking $75,000 in exchange for 15% of our business. Sharks, we live in a busy world. As a freelance photographer, I am always on the go. One day my little boy looked at me and said, Dad, how come you're never home for dinner? And it just broke my heart. It was at that moment, I vowed never to miss a meal with him again. And that's why I invented the Snack Hat, the perfect solution for balancing work and family. No. <laughs> Snack Hat is a patent-pending neoprene cap that easily slides onto most heads. It comes complete. It comes complete with a stylish, Multi-compartment plate that's both dishwasher safe and, wait for it, magnetic! magnetic. Oh, <laughs> with Snack Hat, you can work more while still spending time with your kids. Snack Hat! <laughs> Sharks, we know how you don't like companies that just have one product. So rest assured, we're a business that has a whole line of innovative solutions. Like Bathe and Brew. Shorten your morning routine by brewing coffee in your shower. And our best-selling oh pet sweet. <laughs> Double up playing with your pup while doing chores. <laughs> you see, we solve problems for everyone, even sharks. Here are a few more of our products. I love the pet sweet. Our gifts to you. Oh, presents. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I don't think we've ever had a present that are unwrap. Oh, yeah. Go unwrap them, sir. Go unwrap them. Okay. I got cool stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh god. I got a baby feeder for the virtual reality headset for a cat. <laughs> I got the roto wipe. Oh, God. <laughs> Barb, what's yours? I've got a oh, handy hand. Yes, that, that one eliminates Clean your need for toilet, toilet paper. Saves right. a lot of dough. Oh, Saves no. a lot Sharks, of dough. Sharks, our actual oh, company gosh. is Pranko. We sell prank gift boxes. We put a new twist on gift giving and add life to any part. All right. <laughs> is there actually something in No, that's the whole no. point. That's the whole point. They sell the boxes. That's brilliant. Well, how disappointing. Simply buy any of our prank boxes, you hide your real gift inside, and you sit back and watch as the fun unfolds. So who wants to help us prank the world? Uh, and invest $640,000 for 8% of oh, prank. Oh, that ruins it. You got oh, it. Oh, wait a minute, you changed oh. it? But didn't you say $75,000 for 15%? That was, that was a prank. Back in the it's winter. the prank. It was a prank. Well, this is an entertainment oh. vessel. You put their real gift inside. I got it. This and guy's a moron. Like your reactions. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Since 2013, we've sold $10 million of empty boxes. Well, now you have our respect. Touchdown. Oh, wow. Wait a minute. <laughs> How much will you do this year in business? This year, it's uh, $2.8 million. Let's walk through the business sure. model. How do I find out about Pranko? How do you sell me the product? Do you have retail distribution or is it direct? We do. Uh, we have mass retail. We're in mass retail as well as uh, on e-commerce. What do you sell them to retail for? What does it cost you to make them? What are your so margins? So we make them for 66 cents. Yeah. Online, they sell for $8. $8. One box? For a box? Yes, one box. Wow. What did you guys do before this? What takes you yeah. <laughs> to this place? So I was uh, one of the uh, early partners of The Onion. And, the Onion? Um, yes, the onion. yes ma'am. Oh, really? Good just for you. Just when we were just a little the newspaper onion, what, what is it? Yeah, it's a satir satirical newspaper. I did that for 20 years, and um, we had this box in our e-com store that was flying off the shelves. And it was some designer guy, outside designer guy, that had it. So that was you. Yes. I met Eric. A couple years later, and a few happy hours later, we uh, started Pranko. What's your background? I'm uh, 20 years I've been a, a self-employed uh, graphic designer. And this hit me way back when, watching my nephew open a toaster oven. It appeared to be a toaster oven. His parents put the real video game inside. And it was just this great moment at, at, at Christmas. It's brilliant. That everybody loved. It's and brilliant. within a week, I'd started, started my first prototype. And you do it three weeks out of the year. So what do you do the rest of the year? Well, that's what we want to talk about. Yes, we want to. There's there's 541 million, million gifting, gifting occasions. occasions, birthdays, anniversaries, uh, graduation, Father's Day, Mother's Day. And what we want to do is market to those people. 
So a couple questions. So last Christmas, your last shipping season, what did you do in total revenue and what was your net profit? Okay, so that's where I need to uh, clarify some things. We started this in 2013. 2016 and 17, we, uh, uh, we got distracted. We had other seasonal uh, opportunities, novelty gifts, had to deal with Asia and uh, molds and uh, set up uh, So you were making products samples. like that magnet head dish? Yes. You try to create physical products yes. and expand your business on e-commerce because we have traffic, we're funny. Yes. Yep. Right? Yeah. Bottom line is, we made mistakes, we lost okay, focus, that... lesson learned. Okay. Well, but what's your debt? A million dollars, long term. How much cash do you have in the bank? Uh, right now, it's the tightest time of the year. We're working off the line of credit. How much have you pulled on your line of credit as of right now? Uh, $3 million. Oh. Uh. <sighs> Let me just share with you my thought. I think very funny, clever idea and all of that, but I like things that sustain and are sold more throughout the year. So for those reasons, I'm up. Uh, structurally, the business is not investable, so I'm out. Thank you. The way I see your business is you have a million dollars in debt, you have zero money in the bank, you have no profit, you have skinny margins, and you're valuing your business. I can't do the math, but it looks like around $7 million. I don't get it. I'd love to see the numbers I could get my teeth into. I'm, s I'm sorry, but I'm not. Your problem is you're trying to do too much. The, the refocus is on prank. That's what I'm saying. What are you doing, Mark? Look, I'll make you an offer. Okay. Right? But you're going to have to listen. Okay. You've got a great product. You've got a great comedy minds. But your track record speaks for itself. And, and I don't mean any disrespect, but all entrepreneurs no. go through this. That's, that's fair. Right? I, I, I made a mistake. We all learn, right? So I'll offer you the 640K. Okay. But I need 25% of your business. Three sharks are out. Ryan and Eric came in seeking $640,000 for 8% of their prank gift box company, Pranko. Mark is interested, but he wants more than three times the equity they initially offered. I'll offer you the 640 k okay. but I need 25% of your business. Okay, interesting offer. Let me give it to you a different way. I'm in this space in a big way. Yes, sir. Love pop cards, mm -hmm. yes, potato sir. parcel. Wicked good cupcakes. I live this in and out about rotating skews, the seasonality of gifting. There's two things I can do for you. I can smooth out the seasonality a little bit. But the real added value is to get your website so it becomes 10, 11, 12, 13, 14% of your business direct at eight bucks a pop. That I do because I have millions of names that already go through my gift cycle in three different companies, all right? Okay. I'm gonna give you 640,000. I want 38 cents royalty on every unit. That's it, no equity. Get $640,000 and you get my team and we'll fix this business for you. Guys, the only sales pitch I add for myself is we test it with the Mavs. You know, we, I can spend a buck a pop, right, to go out there and do custom and we come up with something fun. The Dirk Nowitzki shot guide or what, whatever it is, it's up for you, to, you Don't guys to decide. Don't let Mark do the writing. That wasn't very funny. <laughs> but that's not enough. I, I need you to that's sell them. Wait, 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 listen, listen, listen to me. Listen, just Kevin. to get my money back. Kevin. I got to I got to bump this business up big time. Yeah, but Mark is the buyer as well. Yeah, I'm the right. buyer, right? I and got so that. if it works for me, 15, 20, if it works for me, it's going to so work what? for every sport, every university. We can go get licenses, we can get MBA licenses. Would you go 15%? No. No. 20% with a line of no. credit. It's got to be 25% because it's going to take a lot of work and it's going to take a lot of guidance. I uh there's no equity, Mr. Wonderful. It doesn't make sense. No. It doesn't make sense. You know, and then you want you you would you would ask for thirty eight cents per unit. I have to sell a million. I have to sell a million seven of these to get my money back indefinitely. Is that indefinitely? Yes, it's a partnership of three guys. That's what this is. What I try and do is expand the direct to customer sales without a middleman in the middle, as we do at Love Pop. Right. We covet that direct sale because we capture the name mm -hmm. and we sell those people twenty five percent again on every season. That's the key to your business. No, it's not. I'm I'll a, tell you the key to your business. The key to your business. Besides simplifying this, going to e commerce retailers and having them op offer this as an option, an upsell option. Put it in a, you know, you, you buy this, too, put it in a price. You're not private. capturing any value in your own name. On a seasonal business where there's a birthday involved or there's a gifting period like Easter or Christmas, you need the name because 25% of those people buy again. You at mean full the mailing margin. list? Yes. That's I have how to you say, do it. You can't afford his 38 cents. 
Sure. Could you, you could you, would you, would you consider 20%? No. No? Okay. We've got to learn from our mistakes in the past and thin margins killed us. So, um, I respectfully, uh, decline your deal. Mr. Cuban? <gasps> Let's go sell some rental yes, wipes. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. I love the idea, by Thank the you. way. Awesome. Great publication. Yeah. Appreciate it, man. Congratulations. Yeah, thanks, I, man. I appreciate it. All right, guys. Good luck. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. We know how to make people laugh. And uh, Mark understands, obviously, business and how to scale business. So with uh, our ability to create comedy and Mark's ability to grow business, it's going to be a great partnership. We got a deal. We got it.